do I look cute yet? <coughs> Greetings! Hello! Are y'all ready to get this romance? I... Uh, it's debatable. I'm not setting the mood today because I don't think that I could possibly set the mood for anything. So we're just going to uh, dive right into romance. Romance. My eyes are dry, my contacts are shriveling up, and they're going to melt off my eyeballs. So we're back at work. Our stress meter is at 32%. Like I said, I really am curious to find out what happens to me if I get 100% stressed? I don't remember any of their names. The brunette one likes me a little bit, and and she likes me a little bit. He doesn't, but I don't really want him to like me because last episode, he was very straightforward. Borderline workplace was workplace harassment, and uh, the, that's not cool. And our boss is kind of angry at us, kind of... It's very, very strained face right up there, and uh, he, but he likes us the most, so it's looking like we might romance him. I don't know how. I don't know how we go about this. Okay, I don't remember any of the voices. Uh, I think she's got like a high pitched fucking voice, right? I don't remember any of the voices, so we'll just have to wing it. Hello, this is this is Dana the Rose. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Right? It's Dana's voice. Yeah, I'm calling from the uh, attorney's office. Uh, I, I, I requested the case file for uh, that one thing. You know, that thing. Y you, could, you remember, right? That thing? Hi, Madame LaRose. Yes, I can see your request right here. Uh, asked annoyedly. Ask nicely. Well, we'll ask nicely. Um, well, something was delivered, but it was only a single page. There's supposed to be a lot more. Trust me, I know there's supposed to be a lot more. I know. I know things about paper. I know. Uh, I don't know where that came from. That came from within. We're just gonna roll with it. I I'm I'm terribly really sorry, uh, Madame LaRose. Uh, I'm not sure why that happened. There should have been over 50 pages. Jeez. Jeez, over 50 pages? Ain't no paperclip gonna fit that. That's whack. That's... No. Uh, I'll be sure to get that sorted out personally. Someone here must have screwed up. It'll be at your office right away. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Do it right. This time. Okay? Uh, my, my apologies again, madam. Please. My apologies. And, um... <laughs> Can you stop calling me madam, please? Jeez. Jeez. I, I was only- I was- This is only supposed to be a bit, but, like, the, the dialogue is leading it towards Dana just being very, very out there and Karen-ish. So, <laughs> this is canon. This is canon in game. Uh, uh, so sorry, mademoiselle. Uh, please accept my most sincere apologies. <laughs> Thanks. I'll, uh, I'll let you go now. <laughs> I'm sure you got other things to be doing right now, like, <laughs> you know, bothering other people with your presence. Uh, of course, mademoiselle, and a thousand apologies, both, both for the mix-up and the madam. He hangs up. <laughs> what a story. What just happened? What, what was this dialogue even? What even was that? As if the two screw-ups could even be compared. Uh, do I really sound that old? These people! I should have them fired! Each and every one of them fired! <laughs> uh, we're not gonna play solitaire because it's addicting and it's bad for us, so... What's in the boardroom? Nothing. Copy room. Nothing. Take minutes at morning meeting for Pierre. When is the morning meeting? Pierre! I I don't think we want to do that because every time we chat with him about work, he gets mad at us. But I need to talk to him about something. There's more for RV Bashard. Okay, so what the f what? Okay, so it unlocks something. What? It unlocks something. Now we have a photocopy memo for Pierre. Okay. Uh, let's go fucking photocopy it up 
Yeah. The more stressed out you are, the more likely- Oh my god! The more So, I'm more likely to fuck up my shit the more stressed I am. I tried to make copies of the memo, but it turned out really blurry. Stress increase. <laughs> what does this do? Oh! It, it turns it red! Okay. Oh shit. You know, we're gonna play it like real life. It's not easy to lower your stress, so we're just gonna roll with it. Jonathan's office? He doesn't like us. Oh my god! You were so rude! Dana, if you want me to take you seriously, I need you to work on this introduction to jurisprudence project. It's a school research assignment. Introduction to jurisprudence. <laughs> Do my homework, basically. Is he? A Did he literally just ask me to do his homework? I don't like you, Jonathan. Okay, I don't like you. You could get lost, sir. Jeez, Dorothy. She's frowning too, and I'm frowning. We're all frowning. <laughs> I'm ruining everything. I'm making everybody's life a living hell on earth. You know what? That's my goal. New goal unlocked. Make everybody stress the fuck out and work. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Talk with Ross. Chat about work. That's that's all there is to do. What? Parted me? <laughs> like how he's so angry. Proofread. Okay. Yeah, we did that. Uh legal research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's evening. Uh print the document. Yeah. Oh, I failed that. Okay. Let's go to bed. You know, this is how this is just how work stuff is. It's morning time. I arrive at work, still feeling a little groggy. Stress is almost up to a hundred. Hey Dana, how are you doing? Helpful. Dana is helpful. <laughs> I'm cracking under pressure as the days go by and the clock winds down. I am breaking on the inside and no one can hear me scream. <laughs> Oh, thanks. I really appreciate that. I could use help, but I, I just you, you take all my work. Take it. Just do it. I just I don't care. Just do it. I I'm gonna go play solitaire. You just do all the work, sweet cheeks. That's all there is to do. Why is that the thing everybody says? Everybody's always saying that's all there is to do. What a life. <laughs> what a life motto. That needs to be put on a mug. That needs to be put on, like, those canvases that are all one word, you know, and in simple font, you know. That's all there is to do. Uh, yeah. Print the document. Stress failure. I am a stress failure. <laughs> I like how the smile went, like... <laughs> She's breaking on the inside. Oh, 97%! We are 97% stressed out, motherfucker. Let's fucking go. We're getting there. We're being stressed out. We're living our best life. To Jonathan. We, okay, we gotta go deliver this to Jonathan. We, and we gotta go... We should go report back to Ross, because he. we don't want to disappoint him. He's the only person that... You know, we want to get on our boss's good side, you know what I mean? We don't want him to hate us. Uh, <laughs> Ask out. You don't want to... Um, you know, sorry, but, you know, maybe another time. I mean, we've only known each other for like 10 days, so it's a little, it's a little too soon. Not quite too soon, but just, just a tad too soon. We need like, let's, 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 uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, yeah. Uh, oh my god, he significantly dropped. Okay, we fucking failed that shit. Probably, I don't know. Is this even about romance anymore? Or am I just causing chaos like usual? We're just causing chaos like usual. I don't think that I, as a living entity, am capable of actual romance. So all I can bring is chaos. I bring nothing but chaos. And that's just what you gotta accept. Let's deliver this legal brief. Stress failure. Wait, how did we... Uh, here you are, Pierre, on a duty at this legal brief. Take it. Take my hard work. Uh, thanks, uh, Dana. But this seems to be a grocery li list. Uh, 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 oh, oh, shit. I'm sorry. 
I was to, I was to grab the wrong thing. I'll go get the legal brief. It's it's okay. It's it's fine. That's that's okay. I'll just go get it from Pierre myself. I feel like an idiot. Ugh. I'm going to kill you, Jonathan. I'm going to kill you in your sleep. Oh, she's smiling. <laughs> Ross. Talk with Ross. Chat about work. Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. I'm not- Oh my god, he's smiling now! Holy shit, his eyes are open. I almost forgot his eye color. Eh, thank you! What is that? What is that? Eh, thank you, Le Ross, with the way we're so stuffed. I appreciate the help with the new archiving scheme report. This is, this is chaos. You're welcome. Thanks for smiling at me. Thank you for the psychological manipulation. We're gonna time skip until something in important happens, so... Skip! Okay, I've kinda deduced that you can't really do anything in the game fast if you are stressed out, so... I guess I found out what happens when your stress meter reaches 100. Nothing good. Oh no. Oh no. She's coming to a boil. The emotions are coming to an all-time high. Ah, it's a jam, God! Frickin' grumble, grumble! Ah! What should I do? Scream some more, probably. Forget it? That's all I can... Forget it. I guess I'm not printing anything right now. <laughs> One big thing I don't like about the game is that, like, your actions really don't dictate anything because it's it doesn't make sense if you're only given one option of interaction with somebody and no matter what, they're going to get mad at you and they're going to lower their love for you. It just doesn't- this game doesn't make any sense. Jonathan, what? Are you gonna disappoint me today? Oh my god. Get out of here, Jonathan. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> what is this? I hate you, Jonathan. Oh my god. Ah. You know what? We're not gonna do anything for Jonathan. We're not gonna do anything for Jonathan. Jonathan can get fucked. <laughs> Pierre's okay, but we ain't doing anything for Pierre either. I think the only way we can win at this game is just not do anything for all the others and just choose one. So we haven't even gotten to date anybody and it's just work. It is just work. We're just working. We don't... It is a dating sim. We're supposed to go out and date, right? We're supposed to get to know these characters. And they all have the same dialogue. And they are all flat as fuck. I'm sorry. Like, I don't want to be mean. But they're like... They all have the same personality types. Except for Jonathan, who is, you know... Harassing you in the workplace. Like, that's the only difference. And that's that's not a good difference. That's not good. That's, that's not good. <laughs> I'm busy, Pierre, okay? I'm busy. So you can take yourself and your work and just go. You can just go. You can just pack up your shit and fucking go, okay, Pierre? I I I'm just too busy, you see. Oh, it's killing you, huh? It's killing you, Pierre? It's killing you? Let me tell you something, Pierre. I got nothing to say to you because we're, you know, I don't want to get fired. <laughs> hey, LaRose, my savior! I've got something for the office supply. You know, I got something for you. My, my savior! My savior! <laughs> oh, shit! He's loving us. Oh, my God. I was- I was so concerned with how the content of this video was going because I was getting nowhere, but now we're getting somewhere. We are one step closer to getting into our boss's pants, hypothetically speaking. 
That's a terrible way to phrase it. Let's go... Let's go report back to... Ross. Why not? Okay. Oh, look! Oh, we're halfway! We're halfway there! We're halfway there! We're halfway there! And we're gonna go there! Okay. Okay. So, now, since we've got Ross's love meter up, we can just focus on de-stressing and wait till those those monies come come rolling in buddies yeah i gotta stand up what a productive weekend there the rose just do it as a good part i'm i'm helpful i'm helpful ross i'm helpful yeah Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. You got it, sweet cheeks. You got it. Organize, organize, organize. Organize Jonathan's- Organize Jonathan's office for Ross? Excuse me? Pardon me? I ain't cleaning up shit for Jonathan. Okay? Jonathan can just- fuck off and do his own cleaning. Okay? It is not the responsibility of your boss or your co-worker to clean up your shit, Jonathan. So either you clean or you pack it up and you leave. That's just how it is in this type of type of business, Jonathan. Jeez. Thanks. That, that, thanks, thanks, uh, thanks to Rose with the thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, his love meter, guys, it's all my hard work, oh, my hard work is actually being appreciated here. We're gonna be able to romance somebody, I don't even care, they're all the same character, but with different avatars. <laughs> so we are so close. We're so close. I can I can taste you, Ross. I can taste you. Come to daddy. Another folder? A lot like the one before, except this one's a whole lot thicker. Ooh. It looks like the whole thing this time. All 50 fucking pages somehow stapled. It's a lot of pages. I skimmed through it looking for I don't know what I'm looking for really. What are we what are we looking for in life? What are we looking for in this life? What are you looking for in this life? Tell me in the comments below. Because I'm totally not trying to psychologically manipulate you into helping my algorithm, am I? Totally not. Never. Never. But whatever it is, I don't really think I found it. I guess I'll have to save it for when I have more time to review the case thoroughly. It's evening already. Jeez. Review. Case summary. Motion. 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 Evidence. Summary. Witness list. Witness summaries. Motion. More summaries. It takes the whole evening to overview the case file, and when I'm done, I don't find anything that sticks out as weird. Really, Dana? Really? It took you this much, like, digging in to figure out that it was just nothing, and you should've just left well enough be? Really. Really. There's nothing suspicious at all. It's, it's a pretty solid case, like all the other cases. Wait. So if it's a solid case... Why were the charges dropped at all? The case file says that R.V. Johnson was being prosecuted by Monsieur Gatineau. I... Gatineau? Gatineau. 
some some G G G name person. I wonder, was he the one who wrote the note? It's easier than I thought to check. The witness summary is handwritten, and it turns out, dang, he was the one. What could that possibly mean? What's up with this case? Yeah, I I don't care. I don't care about this story at all. I am only half listening to any of this. I just want to romance some booze. I just want to romance some animus. Let me romance. I'm I'm busy. I'm so sorry, Dana. You were you were a good contender, but I don't want to have to work your love meter all the way up. And you are literally the same as him, him, and him. You are all the same. You are all cookie cutter. You are all one universal entity. Uh, I'm not gonna call. I don't care. I think I have to though. Uh, ring, ring. Telephone. Uh, who is this? Is this is this the person? Yeah, it is. He's currently out of office, but if you leave a message, I can like have him call back. Uh, yeah, sure. This is Dana LaRose from the City West Cre Place. I'm from Place. I'm Dana, and I'm from Place. Yeah, that that was yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll we'll leave a we'll leave the message. Yes. Uh, um, regard it's regarding ML two six five. He should know what that means. You know, he's he's kind of on my level of smartness. He's big brain like I am. Is uh, yeah. Yep, sure. Well, yep. Great, thanks. That's good. Bye. See ya. And yeah. Bye. Okay, lunch hour. Let's go eat, or else we'll freak out and smudge stuff. Yep. I'm helpful. How messy are these people? We're getting close. We're getting close. I can feel it in my bones. Okay, gang. This should do it. We should fully romance this animu after this. Are you ready? Romance. No, not yet. But let's... Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> we did it! He's all the way up! But I don't know what that means. I think we have to wait till the next day to actually do anything, so. The phone rings. I grab it quickly. So quickly, in fact, that I ripped the cord out of the wall and now there's a big ass hole that I have to fill. Amongst other things. A hole in the wall? A hole in me. In my heart. I'm empty. Is this Dana LaRose speaking? Yes. This is... This is... This is Jean... G? You called about ML265? Yes, I did. Let it be. Don't bring it up again. You're psycho, you're crazy, and you're looking into this way too much. Dana, you're reaching. You are reaching into something that isn't even a thing. And this is a violation of privacy. Just don't bring it up ever again. I looked you up. I know you're just a secretary. Please, I'm an administrative assistant. There's a difference. Let it be. The case was killed by someone way over your head. Poking around at that is it's just you're just asking for trouble. Um I mean it. Just forget about it. Whatever. He hangs up suddenly. What the heck was that? Killed by someone way over my head? What could possibly be so bad about this case that made a grown man and a lawyer freak out like that? Yes, Jonathan, we are going to disappoint you again today. I'm busy. I don't even care about this. Um, Let's go to Ross. Can we ask him out? Ask out? Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> He's like that. He's like that. I'm hounded. I'm Ross. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be Southern now because that's okay. 
I'd like that. How about tomorrow evening at the Chinese food? At the Chinese food. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'd love to... I'd love an evening at the Chinese food. <laughs> nice. Oh jeez, I'm so excited! Alright, everything's coming up, Dana! Finally, we're getting somewhere. That sounds... Uh, that... I mean, <laughs> that sounds wonderful. <laughs> We have a date tonight! We have a date tonight! Ah! Ah! And I'm gonna leave you on a cliffhanger here. Y'all- y'all won't get to see shit, because I have to do that to you. But stay tuned for the next episode of Love and Order. I've been your gamer. It's Giz, bringer of chaos. I am bringer of chaos. Yes. I'll see you later. Bye. You know what to you know what to do. You know what you do is you hit that subscribe button and then you hit the little bell thing next to it because you just that's what you do. That's all there is to do.